Give thanks, give thanks and praise to the most high, creator of the universe. We do give thanks and praise. Legal title and equitable title. The legal title refers to the responsibilities and duties the owner has in maintaining, using, and controlling the property. Legal title is actually legal title is the actual ownership of the property. Again, legal title is the actual ownership of the property documented name of the property owner as visible through the public records. Again, the public records typically describe the persons with a legal title. Legal title grants true ownership of the property and all that this entails, the bundle of rights that comes with land ownership. These rights include mineral rights, easement rights, development rights, possession and control, exclusive use, conveyance rights, right of disposition. All right. So to my common people here, when you hear legal title, and it a refer to land, now I think it's safe to assume but registration form is such that represent land. Or if you check even your biological makeup, everything will consist of the land is within you. And remember them say you come from the soil, the dirt. And back to the dirt, you gotta return. So as we move forward. You have a legal title in your name. Appear as the grantee. All right. You have a legal title if your name appears as the grantee on the deed. You have a legal title if your name appears as the grantee on the deed. And I am quite sure. On my registration form. My lawful name is not present on that document. And I'll make a tape and present that document, birth registration form, my personal one. No issues. Privacy now exists when you're being oppressed. It may exist, it's non existent. Yeah, man. So I'll share that information showing that whoever these demonic entities are trying to engage and interface with it cannot be the true and living man with the upper and lower case name it has to be the juridic person created for that specific purpose this is why i said these people are demonic these people are the children of lot unapologetically you have a legal title if your name appears as the grantee on a deed. Legal title is apparent ownership or ownership that is documented on paper. You may assume that your ownership of a property is complete with legal title, but that is not the case. Another party may have an equitable title restricting some of the ways you can use and enjoy the property. So hear them say, even though you have your legal title and a legal title demonstrates so you are the owner or ownership of the property, 
there can be an outside entity, equitable title, their very own property. So you say all these utilities people. So when my little common people here on the island go learn these things, even know these things, I get access to this kind of information when but there is nowhere you can look out here and find this kind of presentment here on the island for our specific West Indian people, the non-Africans. But these things were this foreign corporate construct that imposed upon us as a people, a foreign force. We must subject we against our will, and we have to stand up and rebut these things. So if our so-called public authority here void this kind of information, then here we are presenting this thing. Shoot off a stand up in the earth. Yeah, irrespective of the chaos that's out there, shoot will always manifest itself in this earth. Yeah, no. So it's an equitable title. While a legal title focuses on the duties of the property owner, equitable title refers to the enjoyment of the property. An equitable title is the benefit the buyer will get to use and enjoy when he or she becomes a legal owner. That means that uh, you can't just be the legal owner. You have to be the legal owner and the beneficiary. Because the legal title and the equitable title usually go together. However, these people will deceive you if you have, you know, evidence in writing. So them saying equitable title is the benefit the buyer will get to use and enjoy when he or she becomes the legal owner. Equitable ownership is not true ownership. In other words, someone with equitable title could not argue that he or she was the legal owner or possessor of the property in a court of law. The true ownership requires legal title. Equitable title does, however, grant the person more consistent control over the property. That's right. Equitable title can be more important than legal title. Words like benefit and enjoy, you may assume that having equitable title does not come with a lot of ownership rights. In fact, the opposite is true. For, for example, the person with equitable title is often in charge of financing the property. Equitable title gives the right to access the property, and most importantly, the right to acquire formal legal title of land. Keep in mind that the equitable title does not actually transfer ownership or the property, ownership of the property. It simply gives the individual or entity the right to use and enjoy the use and enjoyment of the property. Give the individual or the entity all fiction and when purchasing a piece of property, it is important to gain equitable title. This will come with the right to obtain full ownership and property interest in the future. An equitable title establishes a person's financial interest in the property. A property investor, for example, may hold an equitable title but not a legal title. A property investor, for example, may hold an equitable title but not a legal title. Equitable title will benefit equitable title holders will benefit from the property's appreciation in value as the equitable title holders. Upon receiving legal title, someone with equitable title can then transfer the property to someone else and keep the difference in price of the home due to appreciation.
Well, I'm sorry, equitable title versus legal title, differences and similarities. The main difference between an equitable title versus a legal title is the latter, which is the legal title, is the only one that gives actual ownership of the property. There are many similar, more intricate differences that can vary on a case to by case basis, in general, an equitable title gives a person the right to use the land and enjoy the benefit that comes along with its ownership. Legal title does not necessarily grant these rights. Equitable title does not allow the title holder to sell or transfer ownership. Legal title is the only title that can do this. Legal title has the advantage over equitable title that it allows the legal title holder to demand compensation from parties that purchase or leases the property. There are, similar, there are similarities between the two types of titles. Look at them as two halves of the same whole. That's why I said they work together. Both grant certain rights to the individual or entity whose name appears on the title deed. Both are legally binding and enforceable in a court of law. An owner needs both to have full ownership and use of a property. An owner needs both equitable and legal title to have full ownership and use of the property. In property purchase, the use traditionally in property purchases that use traditional mortgage loans the distinction between equitable title and legal title does not apply. Instead, the bank or lender will confer both titles to the property in question using a deed of trust. So once you have a document that represents a deed of trust, then you know both titles are conferred here, just like a birth registration form is a legal title. The lender will then retain financial and legal interest in the property until the buyer pays off the loan. We do the two overlap. Ownership laws in Texas mean that the property deeds are not always black and white. The property owners, according to a deed, may not be the only legal possessor of the piece of real estate. The law allows equitable title and legal title to belong to two separate parties interested. Which law do that? That's why I'm telling you, boy, when I'm a divine law, you have to go through all kind of different things. A lot of trickery. Someone may want to divide legal and equitable title for a land contract in which the seller finances the buyer using a payment or loan plan. The seller finances the buyer using a payment or loan plan. In this case, the buyer will have equitable title while the seller retains legal title until the buyer completes payment on the property. Very interesting. We have to learn these things. We have to find some simple areas where we can read these things and it just resonate with us and then we can move on from here doing our basic research. We have to learn these things. Equitable title and legal title may often overlap when dealing with a trust. Splitting the title of a property between different people may be a good idea if the property owner has more than one beneficiary. One person may have the right to maintain a property while another has rights concerning the property's benefit and use after the property owner dies or passes the property on. Legal title may go to a trustee for a specific amount of time while equitable title will go to another beneficiary who will gain legal title after a certain date. Dispute can arise between two parties with split equitable legal titles. One's right under each title can vary according to the title arrangement. Someone with equitable title rights typically cannot sell or transfer the property. If someone with only an equitable title does so, the transaction may not be legally binding. Title disputes can be complex and require interference. From an attorney. 
Sometimes one party may be eligible for a damage award or similar solution. It is important to fully understand your status as a title holder and the ownership of a property, learning the difference between equitable title and legal title is great. Give thanks again. Should be short and sweet. Legal and equitable title. So we have a birth registration form which is legal title to that infant estate. And it's really the legal title name or the legal name title. But the all capital name represents such. The all capital name is separate and distinct from the true and living man, lawful, proper, good name. So this is where the foreign B money construct comes. They corrupt your name. They corrupt your environment. They corrupt your hemisphere. This is what these foreign construct brings to our say consciousness we are now cognizant of the difference between good and evil right and wrong law and legal there is a difference salute free people step 